Okay, so we've got a 3200G set up on this board. This is the Tough Gaming X570 Plus. Pretty fancy motherboard for, you know, the 3200G, but let's fire it up. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty, very pretty. Um, okay, I didn't put on the, my bad, my bad. Okay, now let's fire it up. Um, it's got USB-C, I think we've covered all this. I'm, just kind of want to see if, how we do on boot. Main thing is, can I quickly get the RAM going to 3200 megahertz? Because that's been a frustrating thing on some of the boards. It's really easy on some of the B450s um, for these 3200s. So that's going to be, all right, total memory, USB drives, two keyboards, two mouse, new CPU installed. Please enter setup configure. Okay. Press F1 to run setup. This is good. No major errors there. Um, easy mode. Okay. Um, CPU fan. This is cool. I like this. Um, probably need to not be in easy mode <laughs> because I gotta get to. Here we go. Advanced mode, AI tweaker, overclock tweaker, DOCP and it detected 3200, excellent. Okay, hopefully that's all we have to do. Let's exit that, save changes and reset. And come on, fingers crossed that uh, this doesn't totally just die like the last B450 that I checked. This is the first test I've done actually with the 3200G on a 570, so. Um, you know, I don't think it'd be normally something you pair, just because if you're, you know, if you're only going to spend $100 on a CPU, do you really want to spend, you know, almost $200 on a really nice motherboard? Could be if you're kind of starting building a system. This is booted. This is great. Um, I'm just going to go right in and load up Overwatch and see see how this does. But because uh, I've got a 75 dollar board, the AS Rock. And I know it can run Overwatch with just the hundred dollar, you know, thirty two hundred G. So it'll be interesting if uh, this performs any better, or if you know you just get this so you can upgrade. Or I mean, I'm going to be using this motherboard for a, a much more powerful build. But um, it's good to test. I, I really like the APUs from Ryzen, so um, I think it's awesome you can get so much power from, you know your CPU, and then you don't have to buy a GPU in a lot of cases. Most people don't need, you know, 120 frames of 4K, so. Um, if you want to play Overwatch on 70 frames per second on medium, it still looks great, it's totally playable, and you can do that with a $400 build. So, um, with, with these Ryzen G, G chips, so. This is fast, this is feeling pretty zippy. Um, they haven't tested anything. Let me just look real quick and make sure the RAM got detected correctly. Uh, yeah, it's showing 3200, excellent. So that's great, that's super easy. And frame rates on this are looking very promising, I can already tell. It really makes a big difference when you can, up, you know, clock the RAM if it's correct 3200 setting versus, oh, you just pop these in, it's at 2133 and it just kind of crawls. Um, so I'm just gonna launch a new game here. And I mean, we're getting 60 in the loading, 60 frames per second, so. But is it spending, you know, more than $100 more for the next 570 board really worth it if you're just doing a 3200G or a 3400G? Probably not, but it looks nice and I love the colors. Um, it's easy to build, it was super easy to build on. Um, the full ATX size is nice. Um, but also now when I, I gotta put this in the case, it's gonna be bigger, so. I mean, yeah, 70 frames per second, so. This is great, I mean, super easy out of the box. Uh, you know, I would say if you are gonna go with a 570, this is awesome. I, I wanna test the Wi-Fi, but uh, 
overall, I mean, up and going, I built this thing in like 15 minutes and uh, less than that. So great performance on just the 1300G, 3400G, I'm sure it'd be even better, but uh, now let's get out of this. And uh, cool. Uh, yeah, let's let's test the Wi-Fi. So let me unplug from Ethernet here and see what we got going on. Oh, and the Wi-Fi is on. Show available networks. Ah, oh, great. Okay, so I mean this is this is looking good, but. Uh, We'll just connect to the Wi-Fi and just double check it, but connected, secure, this is great. Um, load up some Netflix. Um, man, I love these APUs. Okay, so again, this, uh, cool. Great 570 board. I'm excited to put some other stuff on this. Easy to get the 3200, sounds real quiet, seems stable, I'm a fan.